In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at how to record a screen presentation using Screencast-O-Matic.com. For purposes of this tutorial, I am going to use a presentation software called Haiku Deck. It's completely free and available on the internet, but this same process works with any um, screen presentation software that you'd like to use, such as Google Slides or um, PowerPoint, of course, being the classic, it works exactly the same. And the the key to recording your slides, once you have them done and designed and everything is ready to go for your presentation, the key to recording them is not to make them full screen. We can't have our slides be full screen uh, because we need to be able to access our, our recording controls from screencastmatic.com. So as you can see here, I have not made this full screen. I could make the presentation full screen, but I don't want to do that because recording is going to be easier um, and it's going to work a lot more smoothly if I don't have it set to full screen. So, again, once I've got my slides up, my slides are ready to go in whatever uh, software or uh, you know service I want to use, then I'm going to go to screencastomatic.com, which I have open in the second tab here, which is screencastomatic.com. And it's very easy. All I need to do right here is hit the blue Start Recording button. And that's it. Just click Start Recording to record. And that's all you got to do. So let's go ahead and click. Screencastomatic.com is a Java-based program, so if you get a prompt to start your Java or if it's okay to use Java or to update your Java, you want to follow those instructions. In my case, I've already got Java going on, and uh, as soon as I get this, I get my uh, webcam here because Screencastomatic is recording my webcam, and it's also um, you know, recording sound, and it's telling me that. So I've got all these controls here. I've got a record button, this red button, start recording. I've got microphone controls, and it lets me pick if I have multiple microphones and, and some uh, sound capture and how all that stuff works. Um, I've got the microphone volume, so I can set the volume, and I can adjust it in case it's, it's too loud or I'm getting a lot of distortion. And I've, uh, I've got the, I can select a size, and I can also drag. We'll look at that in a minute. And then I have webcam controls. And in my case, we want to have, in our case, we want to have both the webcam and the sound on. So we get both uh, audio and visual from our camera, right? Now we're going to go back over here and click on our, um, you know, our go back to our slide presentation. And uh, I've already been playing with this, so it's pretty perfect. But you can just drag your Screencast-O-Matic window right around your slides. So... It's only going to record the slide and not the rest of your screen. Now, your webcam video, as you can see out here, is off to the side here, and you can't drag it into the recording frame. Um, Screencast-O-Matic wants you to see your slides that you're recording, but it also wants to give you a preview of your webcam. Right? We'll be able to control a webcam size and uh, placement um, after we redo, redo our recording. All right? So at this point, we, we've got our we've got our webcam preview. We've got and we've tested our sound, we've got the right size, and we're ready to go. So what we need to do is, all we need to do is hit start recording. And it's going to give us a countdown. And then once we start recording, we're just presenting the, our material just like we would if we were giving a presentation in a classroom or something. We're talking to our audience. We're making eye contact with our camera. In this case, uh, we're talking about the pre-Socratic philosophers. So I'm going to give a little mock presentation here. And as I go through it, I'm going to advance my slides using my arrow keys so I don't have to use my mouse. I'm going to make sure my mouse is outside the recording window so it doesn't show up. So I'm going to go ahead, hit record and do a little tiny mock presentation for a couple of slides. The first philosopher and scientist that we know of was a Greek named Thales. Thales had a theory about the way the world worked. He believed everything was water. Now, the idea that everything is water is pretty ridiculous. However, about a hundred years later, Two other philosophers came along, Lucipius and Democritus, and they had the theory that everything is atoms. And it isn't too big a leap from everything is water, because water is important after all, to everything is atoms. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and stop my little mock presentation there, uh, and I would go through and recording, presenting my content with my presentation, 
and um, moving from slide to slide, doing an introduction, a body, and a conclusion, everything that you want to do, and just keep moving through your slides and presenting your content. And then if you mess up, you can go ahead and click restart and you just start all over again. And you may want to do that a couple of times. It's, it's, it's stressful to have a camera on you for the first time, I think. So just stay relaxed, stay calm, and don't be afraid to start over or to do like a rough draft and just test all your slides and make sure everything is where you want it to be and how you want it to be there. And then when you've got a rough draft or a test done, all you have to do is hit done. And you can always go back and record again. Right? But once we hit done, we get our, you know, our video here and our webcam. And we can control the placement of our webcam and the size of it if we want to make it a little bit smaller. We don't want it to be too small or the audience can't see it. But we also don't want it to take up, like, the whole slide. And then we want to position it. You only get to position it once for all the slides. So you need to pick a spot when you're making your slides. I'm going to use the lower right-hand corner here. And then we can preview what we've done by just hitting the play button here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. The first philosopher and scientist that we know of was a Greek named Thales. Thales had a theory. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and pause it there, but you can go through and go ahead and preview your entire presentation and make sure everything's placed right the way you want it. And if you, you know, you decide that maybe the webcam's a little too small or whatever, you can make it bigger. You want people to be able to see your recording. And if you decide that you messed up somewhere, you can scrap this and say you're done with this recording and start over. However, when you're happy with your recording and everything's good and it's the way you want it to, you can publish it either to screencastomatic.com or to YouTube if you have a YouTube account and would like it on YouTube. You can also download a video file of your presentation. Um, so you can do all those things. For our purposes, please publish to screencastomatic.com or publish to YouTube so you can submit the URL for your presentation to the discussion board. Right? Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. I appreciate you taking the time to watch. If you have any questions or need help about recording your screencast presentation, please, by all means, let me know, and I hope you have a good day.